Welcome back to Crochet Creations and Vlogmas Day 28. Yeah, and I have a wonderful cup of coffee here. It's a caramel crumb bun <laughs> from my Advent coffee box. And, you know, <laughs> I mix this with peppermint mocha. You can't even tell. It's just delicious. <laughs> Yummy. Mm hmm. All right. Well, I have an exciting day today on the show or the channel or whatever. <laughs> Got two smile mails to open. Both of them are club subscriptions. <laughs> I have a new item to add to the prizes under the tree. I also have a new item to talk about on another game we're playing, and we're going to wind that up today, too, because Vlogmas is starting to come to the end. Not all of it, but some of it. So we're getting down to like a week and a half left or something like that I go through, and then I might have to do a couple extra shows to finish up with Stephanie, but that's okay doesn't bother me. <laughs> I know it doesn't bother you, does it? Let's just, you know, have fun when we can. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I would like to open up my Outlander um, subscription from Lolo Did It. And let's see what we got this month. Now, I don't, I know she usually does the end of the month. So this should be December's subscription. It usually tells us when we get in there. And I know she started, well, she put up a new club to start if you wanted to. And that doesn't mean that this one's done, but um, it might be. Let's see. Yeah, um, it doesn't tell me. So uh, I think this was a yearly. I don't, I don't remember. I know it's gone longer than six because I can see six over there. Um, one, two, three, four, five over there. This would be number six, and I gave away a couple, so I, I, I'm sure this one was a twelve, uh, twelve month. Uh, but they, but she started a new one, and uh, that one is Yellowstone. So if you are a Yellowstone person and you want to get yarn that's inspired by it Lolo did it um, I don't think I'm going to sign up for it unless the Outlander stops then I might I don't want to do both because I want my yarn oh yeah it's just like you want them all right you, you want them all <laughs> okay I opened it it is December 2021 Outlander and they come in these bags. And there, there's a long tube. I usually put them back in there. And uh, so let's read about December. Outlander. Castle Lock is such a turning point in the story. Claire finally realizes where she is in Scotland and how close the nearest town is and in which direction. 
Now, if only she can find a way back to her time, or are Jamie and Claire destined for one another throughout time? Yes, they are. <laughs> so we have this colorway called Castle Lock. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Yeah, that's 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 just beautiful. Just gorgeous. Mm-hmm. We love seeing what you're making. Share with our hashtag on social media. Hashtag Lolo did it. USA DK is my choice. And uh, 100% superwash merino wool. Woo, beautiful. One more look at that speckles. Look at that. That is going to be gorgeous. I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, I do have a couple colors over there. So nice. I did share a couple of these with a few creators here. Um, I did. I, I shared a couple. So I don't have every single month anymore. But that's okay, right? <laughs> That's what it's all about. Okay, so this at this time, I want to draw a new bracket num a person to get on the brackets from December 24th, so Vlogmas 24. That is where I am drawing 12 days in a row for the 12 days of Christmas to fill the bracket board up. So I have put the Earl in the box for the YouTube comment picker. I put in the word bracket to filter out and we now have 24 comments. So let's take and start that draw and see who we get. And hopefully the person does not have a bracket already. Frida, does Frida have a bracket? Something tells me that she does not. I do not see her name. Let's see. Woohoo! Let's see. Frida says, I'm good, Christy. Rules are rules. I should have at least asked to be on the bracket board. I guess I should pay more attention when I multitask. One of my favorite Christmas songs is Jingle Bell Rock, as well as I'll Be Home for Christmas. If I win, I would love to try that new sparkle yarn that you put under the tree the other day. Okay, so yesterday's draw, daily draw, was for the the prize, whatever you said in the song. And so Frida does not have a spot on the bracket board that I can see. So that will be her choice. If she wants a spot, she wins it today. So there you go, Frida. You won today. <laughs> I know it's so fun especially to hear your name I, I mean I just love it like when some people do they go through the comments and they say people's names I just love it that's why sometimes I go through and I say thank yous to people like everyone that did the snowflake or everyone that did the pineapple blanket yeah I, I've been I put up a post this morning and uh it, it was uh, to remind you to put up your pineapple blanket photos because Deb and I are going through and we're counting all of the names that uh, finished that pineapple Afghan yearly make-along. And there are 12 names already. Yeah. And I think I even brought those papers in here. Uh, maybe I didn't. No, I guess I didn't. <laughs> I thought I did. Anyway, um, I will be saying those names on Sunday for sure. I'm going to draw a winner on Sunday for that blanket uh, make-along. And I will show you the beautiful uh, L Grey bag that we have for that. And uh, we'll also be starting a new one. 
So we're going to be get, doing a lot of things on Sunday for sure. And your hats, hats, and more hats will be on Saturday. So it will be separate. I'll do that drawing Saturday and post a new 2022 January post for new hats on that January uh, 1st. All right, so Frida, congratulations. You won a bracket spot. You have your choice of a lot of numbers here. We have number four, number 10, and number 16 on the left-hand side still. We have 17, 20, 22, 24. Then we have 26 through 30 open and number 32 open. So that's your choices, Frida. And uh, I do want to say that... Um, I <laughs> I had an idea that I would do 18 questions, like 18 to 20 questions on the scavenger hunt. <laughs> so today I am going to say question, I'm going to say the last hint for the last scavenger question. It will be number 18. And I shouted out somebody that that I did not know I've never met them and when I did they commented on my video and I was like oh my gosh so if you know what that answer is that will be scavenger question number 18 I have given all of the answers now um no, I mean I have given all of the questions now and what I want to do is I want to start taking names of people who want to enter in the scavenger hunt. Now, I showed you a box of a beautiful subscription that I'm going to give away to the winner of the scavenger hunt. So, how do you win this? Well, as long as you send me in an email at least 10 of the questions and their answers correctly, your name will be in, in the drawing for this beautiful yarn. If the first person that sends me all of the questions and all of the correct answers will win this set of stitch markers. Now I made these. They are a set of five and they run from F through J and they have a beautiful blue stone with a sparkle and they have a lever back. So this set will go to the very first person that emails me all 18 questions and the answer. I told you it was going to be hard. But that person will win these, and only one person can win these. But the other, the other yarn, everyone that answers at least 10 of the questions correctly will be entered into that drawing. And I'll draw it probably, I mean, soon, you know, whenever, a week. I'll, I'll give you another week, and uh, we'll draw that. I'll tell you on the vlog this. But so the, that is the last question of the scavenger hunt for 2021 <laughs> I'm writing it down okay it's a little bit harder it's hard to get all 18 I know that okay let's go ahead and open up my second smile mail so this is I believe the yarnable from for January. I I can't be positively sure, but I think it is because we got our December one, and they said something about sending the January one out early. So that's why I think this is it. It's only the twenty nah twenty eighth today. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that. And it's always in the pouch, so we won't be looking at that right away. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, looks like 
there's some gold going on in here. Okay, I like gold. Infinite. Oh, okay. Inside the Yarnable, you get this pouch with the goodies in. And on the card, it will tell you about the box. So, inside Yarnable, January 2022. A bougie new year. Hey, D. Bougie. <laughs> It is brought to you by Bling, Rings, and Sparkly Things. That tells us that yarn might have sparkle in it. I betcha. You betcha. <laughs> the extras are a diamond solitaire pen from DM Merchandise. Merchandising. Look at that. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Diamond top pen. So I'm thinking you, yeah, you just turn it and there's the, how cool. Oh, my mom's going to try and steal that from me if I take it to work. Well, maybe I won't. <laughs> okay. And then we have a caviar face mask. From Nature. It's Nature, yes, a mask pack for your face. My daughter loves these things. She'll probably want to steal that if she sees it. And then what is this? Oh! oh my gosh, this is so cool. I get it. I gotta see if this works. Okay. The infinite phone ring, a gold phone ring stand designed by Yarnable. <laughs> It's got a yarn. Let me see if that darn thing will stop that. Stop that. Oh, you little stinker. Can you see the yarn on there? Without it there. Without the glare. <laughs> okay, so it's a ring you put on your phone. But I was thinking was, would it go on my iPad? So I could hold it up with the ring in. I don't know, but it might. This is a cool bag so far. I haven't even looked at the yarn yet. <laughs> oh, here we go. When did the New Year's Eve ball first drop in Times Square? Anybody know? Anybody? All right, well, I'll tell you what. If you can answer that question, you don't have to be right, but you have to at least try. Answer me the Times Square question. Who or when when was the first New Year's Eve ball dropped in Times Square? I will draw from this video for another prize under the tree or a bracket spot. And I am going to add another prize before this video is over. So I will do that in just a second. I'll write that down too. Okay, the yarn from Yarnable for December, no, January 2022. Look at that. Jill from Fiber Floozy. Look at that. Huh? Holy cow. Holy cow. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Okay. All right. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Speckles. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. So I usually get the DK. And this is plush DK 100%. Superwash Merino, beautiful, soft, 218 yards, and it says Bougie New Year's, New Year, Bougie New Year. <laughs> Love that. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, back to today's drawing. Okay, I am going to do a new giveaway today for this video, and it will be your choice, something under the tree, 
or a spot on the bracket board if there is one left and you have to answer what year was the first ball dropped in Times Square. It's a New York City question again. All right. One more thing before we go. I'm going to add a new item under the tree. Are you ready for this, Miss Latoya? I think you are. <laughs> I found two cakes of universal yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and show that now. And this is going to be a choice for under the tree. There you go. It is 98% acrylic and 2% polyester. And look at that beautiful sparkle. It is uh, three light, 240 yards. It's a Hobie product. And it is called, oh shoot, they only call it a number. But it is a beautiful purple and lavender and the bright fuchsia sparkles a little bit of white in it but it is gorgeous and you get two of them and those are a prize under the tree for whenever you can go back to 25 and change your uh comments there if you want to because that is uh still going on i'm going to draw 25 pretty soon probably tomorrow I don't know I think I'm I yeah probably <laughs> so now I am going to call it a day take a moment out of each day and be creative talk to you tomorrow bye now